Hi students, let's talk about the seven types of fatal or deadly waste identified by lean that we discussed in chapter 12. The seven wastes of lean manufacturing are what we are aiming to remove from our processes by removing the, the causes directly. But what exactly are the seven wastes of lean manufacturing? The seven wastes of lean manufacturing are number one, transport number two, inventory, number three, motion, number four, waiting, number five, overprocessing, number six, overproduction, seven, defects. Let's discuss one by one all of these ways now. How to remember the seven ways? There are a couple of simple mnemonics that you can use to help you remember the seven ways. The first is to ask yourself who is Tim Wood now I would emphasize the word Tim Wood it covers all the seven defects transport inventory motion waiting overprocessing overproduction defects what exactly is waste the simplest way to describe waste is as something that adds no value our customers would not be happy to pay for any action that we take that does not add any value to what they actually want the customers nor should we be would you be happy if you received a bill in a restaurant that included a meal that was prepared in error no obviously not you would argue and demand that it was it was removed it should be removed from your bill yet if you buy a product in a store the price that you pay will contain cost that you would not want to pay. Would you want to pay for the machine operator's wages whilst they you know, sat idle, not doing anything, waiting for a delivery or for the rework processes that had to be undertaken because the machine was incorrectly set or even for storing your product for three months before it was delivered to the store? These wastes are included within the cost of your products, either inflating the price you pay or reducing the profit of the company. Now, let's discuss all of these wastes one by one. Number one, the waste of transport. Transport is the movement of materials from one location to another. This is a waste as it, as it you know, adds value, zero value, I, I would say, zero value to the product. Why would, you, why would your customer want to pay for an operation that adds no value? Transport adds no value to the product. You, as a business, are paying people to move materials from one location to another, a process that only costs you money and makes nothing for you. The waste of transport can be a very high, you know, high cost to your business. You need people to operate it and equipment, you know, such as trucks or fork trucks to undertake this expensive movement of materials. Now, we're going to move next to the, you know, uh, the waste. Next waste is the waste of inventory. Inventory costs <coughs> you money. Inventory costs you money. Every piece of product tied up in raw material, work in progress or finished goods that you know, has a cost, uh, all of these things, until it is actually sold, that cost is yours. In addition to the pure cost of your inventory, it adds many other costs. Inventory feeds many other wastes. Inventory has to be stored. It needs space. It needs packaging. And it has to be transported around. It has a chance of being damaged during transport and becoming obsolete. The waste of inventory hides many of the other waste in your system. Number third, the waste of motion. Unnecessary motions are those movements of man or machine which are not as small, which are not as small or as easy to achieve as possible. By this I mean bending down to retrieve heavy objects at low level when they could be fed at waste level to reduce stress and time to retrieve. Excessive travel between workstation. 
uh, excessive machine movements from start point to work start point are all examples of the waste of motion. All of these wasteful motions cost you money, time and cause stress on your employees and machines. After all, even robots, we are out. Number four, the waste of waiting. How often do you spend time waiting for an answer from another department in your organization or waiting for a delivery from a supplier or an engineer to come and fix a machine? We tend to spend an enormous amount of time waiting for things in our working lives, even in the personal lives too. This is an obvious waste. The waste of waiting disrupts flow. One of the main principles of lean manufacturing as such, it is one of the most serious of the seven waste of lean manufacturing. Number five, the waste of overproduction. The most serious of all the seven waste, the waste of overproduction is making too much or too early. This is usually because working with oversized batches, you know, and long lead times, poor supplier relations and a host of other reasons. Uh, overproduction, I would say, leads to high levels of inventory, which mask many of the problems within your organization. The aim should be to make only what is required, what is required by the customer. The philosophy of just-in-time inventory, JIT, if you remember from the lesson. However, many companies work on the principle of just-in-case, which is the opposite of, you know, just-in-time, JIT. The next is the next waste is number six, the waste of overprocessing. The waste of overprocessing is where we used inappropriate techniques, oversized equipment, working to tolerances that are too tight, perform processes that are not required by the customer, and so forth. All of these things cost us time and money. One of the biggest examples of overprocessing in most companies is that of the mega machine that can do an operation faster than any other but every process flow has to be routed through it causing scheduling you know complications scheduling complications delays and so forth in lean small is beautiful use small appropriate machine where they are you know you know where they are needed in the flow not break the flow to route through a highly expensive um, system that the accountants insist is kept busy. The next waste is the waste of defects. The most obvious of the seven defects, you know, or the wastes, uh, seven wastes, this is the most obvious one, although not always the easiest to detect, do detect before they reach your customers. Quality error, errors that cause defects invariably cost you far more than you expect. Every defective item requires rework or replacement. It wastes resources and materials. It creates paperwork. It can lead to lost customers. The waste of defects should be prevented where possible. Better to prevent than to try than to try to detect them. Implementation of automation can help to prevent defects from occurring. Now, eliminating the seven wastes you know let's you know talk about the concluding remarks eliminating seven waste is something that can be done through the implementation of lean and the various lean tools however the focus of your implementation should not be to identify and remove waste instead you should use the principles of lean manufacturing to identify value according to the customer and make those value adding processes flow through your organization at the pull of the customer. This approach helps you to make your value adding processes more efficient and causes the waste to literally dissolve. Approaching lean from a perspective of removing the seven waste rather than making value flow, however, usually ends up with us making non-value adding processes more efficient and we get better and better at doing things that the customer does not want. To eliminate the seven ways of lean, we have to focus on the lean principle and the value as perceived by our customers. I hope 
you enjoyed this uh, video presentation. Uh, best of luck for your exams, and uh, I hope you must you, you must have uh, obtained an awful lot of information from the uh, from this video presentation, and it will help you tremendously in your academic study. Thank you very much.